If you are in a cave and you have a Gatorade bottle to build an arc reactor and plan your escape, then this video is for you. Hey guys, so I thought that some of you don't have 3D printers or uh, cutting tools that I do, so I decided to show you guys a simple one day project, the Iron Man 1 arc reactor that you can make with nothing but a Gatorade bottle, some wires and cheap LEDs. I was so impressed by the shape of this bottle because the base is shaped exactly like the arc reactor. Even the size is perfect and almost flat outer edge. It even has the spokes leading to the center. What's more is, it even tells you where to cut it. Before you cut, make sure you mark the edge with a pen in order to not go astray. And after cutting the mark perimeter, the bottle base is already looking like an arc reactor. Next, we mark the points where the copper wires will be wrapped around. You can either do the measurement and place them about a centimeter apart, but I found another bottle that had exactly 10 increments, so this should do. After carefully marking the lines, it was time to cut off the center to make wrapping the copper wires easier. Now before we start wrapping the wires, we have to sand off the surface to make sure it is not clear. This is to ensure even spread of light from the LEDs underneath. Otherwise the LED will just look like one single point of light. After sanding, I mark the sections alternatively. The sections with copper wires are marked with an X, and if you threw away the cap, you better check the trash before it's gone. I painted it white and cut off the lip of the cap, and guess what? It perfectly fit inside the center of the base. It's like this Gatorade bottle was destined to be an arc reactor. I glued it with some super glue. Do not use hot glue directly on the plastic surface because it will warp the surface badly and distort it. Once done, it was finally time to wrap the copper wire around it. I tried a thick strand of wire, but it was so hard to bend and shape it that I had to get a little thinner wire. I suggest that you go even thinner to make it easier to bend and fill the gaps. Once I wire each section, a little strand is used to tie together the wires to ensure there are as little gaps as possible. After I was done being a wrapper, the arc reactor looked much better. I had a few long staple pins, these are 12 cm by 13 cm. I used them as ends on either sides of each section to hold the wires and to give it a more authentic look. Some super glue was used to hold these in place to ensure a tight fit. By now, you should have learned the lesson of not throwing away the bottle parts in the trash. So, taking the centerpiece that we had originally removed and using a wire stripper, we cut it to ensure the centerpiece fits perfectly. Now we needed a black border between the centerpiece and the outer piece. I was tempted to use a 3D printer at this point, but keeping true to the theme, I cut out an old black cardboard box and stuck it to the inner piece. It didn't look as good as it would have if we were 3D printing it, but it was alright, and a little bit of acrylic paint helped hide the glue. The part of this project is the lights. Some of you might find this complicated, but it's really simple. I planned on putting one LED per section and one LED in the center so a total of six LEDs. A 9 volt battery would be perfect to power these up as each LED needs 3 volts of forward voltage. So the setup looked like this. Two sets of three LEDs in series and the whole setup connected in parallel. If you're confused and would like to learn a little more about the series and parallel connections and LEDs in general, check out my video dedicated to this topic. After a successful test, I soldered the lights and glued them in their respective place. And two wires were connected to the ends. 
don't forget to put a small resistor in the circuit to avoid burning your LEDs and potentially your clothes. After some final paint touches to the center to ensure the center didn't look too fake, the arc reactor was ready. I had a 9 volt battery holder but I made a new one by ripping off the top of a used 9 volt battery and soldering wires to the inside. I added a small switch that you can rip out of a toy and just taped it around the battery's side. Time for a little test. Okay, this looks good. Let's wear our vest and get out of this cave. Even though it was not meant to be an exact replica, but rather something you can make out of basically trash, it was rather impressive. I wore this to Comic Con this year and the response was phenomenal. So yeah, here it is guys. This has to be the easiest project on this channel. And I want you guys to try and make it over the weekend. Uh, share with me your creations on Instagram. Also, if you follow Fungineers Official on Instagram, you'll get daily updates on upcoming projects and of course, I would love to interact and have suggestions from you guys. Oh, by the way, we are almost 1,000 Fungineers strong. So big thank you to each and every one of you guys. I will see you next time.